Hi guys, it's Rochelle from Monolink Furniture in beautiful Sydney. Today's video, I'm going to be transforming this amazing piece. This is a bit of a different video because I'm doing a collaboration with Ashley and Stephen from Henson Home Furnishings. What we're going to do is actually use the same brands but different products within that brand. So today we'll be using Dixie Bell, Would You Bend and Artistic Painting Studio. First time of me using that so you can learn with me. Enjoy, like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. Head over to Henson Home Furnishings, watch their video and do the same. Let's get started. This beautiful vintage dressing table was actually donated to me by a lovely friend. It was her grandmother's and she donated it to me to refurbish. Now as much as it is beautiful, it does have quite a lot of damage. Plus, it's not really usable in modern day. So I've decided to do an extreme makeover on this one and we're going to convert her into bedsides. Stick with me guys, this could be fun. Right, this is the back. I was hoping this was one solid piece, and I should have checked that beforehand. It isn't. You can see it's cut out. So we've got ply here. Then we've got this cut out here where the center piece is slotted into, and then it carries on. So this ply goes down across. So what I will do is take this off. I'll preserve this top piece of ply because it's the same depth. And then I'll slot it into these missing pieces. So we'll be good as long as I don't damage that piece. The pressure is on. This girl is making me earn my money. There is no smashing that back panel off because it goes all the way through. So. I'm going to have to cut it off. I'm literally going to have to slice either side. Oh, you nasty girl. Time for the multi-tool. Let's get this saw going. The outcome, after all those hours of separating them, actually isn't as bad as I thought. So, because that piece of wood went all the way through, I've still got it there, so I don't need to fill an entire piece. I don't think I've mentioned the legs yet. I'll take those off. She's gonna get some new legs. So this is the Festool ETS EC125. I really like this sander. This one I think is perfect for furniture flippers. It's lighter and you can use it one-handed and it's still powerful. This coupled with the RO90, in my opinion, is the best team with the vac as well.
that's the first sand it's it's pretty smooth but there's still some areas that could do with filling so i'm going to give it a second pass look at that beautiful veneer i wish i could have saved it but there was no chance so i'm going to give it a second pass and then we're almost down to like treating it as if it's normal bedside oh without feet at this point Time to put some feet on these girls i was planning on using turned legs wooden turned legs which i really would have preferred but we're still in lockdown and i didn't order them in time so i'm going with these ones i'd previously painted them for a different project which i then didn't use so i've stripped them and as i'm not sure what color i'm going to be painting the piece yet i'm just going to put them on as they are and then paint them so they literally will sit there i'll bring them in a little bit damage on this one side and because there's lots of different finishes for me to paint over I want to make sure that my finish is consistent so what I'm going to do is just seal this with satin clear coat first I just put one coat on just on this side the only purpose is to give it a consistent finish for me to paint onto and I'm using my Dixie Bell Mini I've pretty much removed any of the detail anything exciting about these I need to put something back and I'm going to do that using would you bend so I've got two of these I'm gonna put one in this corner and then on the other piece I'll do it on the opposite corner and I think that'll work well it's not too much but it should work well and then when I put the hardware back on that I've cleaned using vinegar and boiling in vinegar I think then will look good so I've got my heat gun I'm just going to heat it up to make it pliable then I apply the glue I use weld bond type bond in the US you can get I believe you can get type bond here as well but I just haven't got it yet but wood glue a good strong wood glue and then hold it in place In true Rochelle fashion, I still don't know what I'm doing in terms of colour or product, but I know that I am going to be using artistic paint in studio products. I just don't know which. I'll just show you what I've got that I can choose from. These foils, they basically give you the effect that a lot of us try and achieve through paint or patina or other things, but it's just with foil and you kind of just stick it on. I've got foil adhesive. I say you stick it on. I need to go and watch the tutorials. I don't know. The other products I've got are these rollers. You roll on raised stenciling. Is it raised? It's not raised. Well, it is, but it's reversed raised because you put a medium down, any medium that you would use for raised stenciling, and you roll this and you get this pattern. It's Berg's. How gorgeous is that? 
So anyway, that's another option I've got. I think I'm gonna go with the foils. Maybe on the top, maybe on the drawers. I don't know. I'd also like to take a second to appreciate my new staging wall edition. That is from Hendia. You can use it as a rug or as a throw or a picnic blanket. I just wanted to make a statement of it. Because I know these are gonna be bleeders, as I'm not sure what color I'm gonna be painting it, I'm gonna go in first with Dixie Belle Boss in gray. I'm gonna use my flat, large Dixie Belle brush. I'm going to paint over the hinges as well. I don't want to be taking off these hinges because chances are if I put it, take them off and put them back on, they'll never fit the same way. Let's do this. I've decided on Dixie Belle Silk Hampton Olive. You all know it's one of my favorites. And I'm gonna be using my flat medium. I've decided that I'm going to put a foil on the front of the drawers, just on the raised area, and then this part here will stay as the Hampton Olive. Now I'm going to go in with the foil adhesive, and I'm using my Dixie Belle Scarlet brush. Set my timer and I will be back in an hour. Right, I've waited my hour. Now I need to get this stuff on, I'm so excited. This is the foil. Now initially I had thought that you stick it on and that was it. That's how naive and kind of silly I am sometimes. It's almost like a rub on transfer. As you can see, it's rolling up on me. This is the suggestion to stop that happening. Honestly, that goes against all of my instincts, but it works. Now I can lay it down flat. This is just tacky now. It's been an hour. I'm gonna lay it down. You don't have to be fussy. It's... And you can see it's coming off straight away. See, it's like a transfer in that sense. You can see it, it goes transparent. So I'm gonna rub it on with this, and then I'm gonna go a little bit harder with a brush, see if you can see it. Can you see? It just, I'm so excited. It's so easy. Now, I know I'm easily excited, guys, but seriously, this is worth getting excited about. Oh, look at that. I want to tidy up in there, obviously. Oh my word. Can you see that? Time for some gemstone mousse. This is Dixie Bell gemstone mousse in the colour amber, which is going to pair really well with the foil. I need to seal the foil. For that, I'll use Dixie Bell satin clear coat. I'm not going to film me doing that. It's pretty straightforward. We are done, my word, this girl made me work for my money. She's been saved and we can use her again now. Thanks so much for sticking with me. Don't forget to check out Ashley's video. She'll be using the same brands, but different products. I don't know what she's doing. I don't know what her flip is, but I'm keen to see myself. Take care guys.